In his acceptance speech, the new Obambandero leader promised to promote unity among his people. I am advocating for peace and unity amongst different communities and extending my cooperation with fellow traditional authorities, as this has been how our elders have been doing that also with respect. Also speaking at the occasion was Gao, Emmanuel Kaseb, chairperson of the Council of Traditional Leaders. The Council of Traditional Leaders have exhorted its agenda only to accommodate leadership disputes pertaining to the chieftainship succession. It is therefore imperative to note that the Obabandro traditional authority has distanced itself from such practice and strives to save its people in the interest of public. In her keynote address, Deputy Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Natalia Trojo says, wants the new leaders to promote, preserve the culture, language and traditional values of the Obabandero. Chief. It is a true fact that most of the traditional leadership structures are male-dominated. Minister is now talking to us. I therefore appeal to the traditional authorities to do away with this traditional norm of gender discrimination and to include women in their leadership structures, including the Overbanderu traditional authority. In his welcoming remarks, Governor Pio Ganate says traditional leaders are key pillars in decision making and when it comes to development. It is imperative for traditional leaders to drive the developmental weekend. We face high rates of unemployment, food insecurity, climate change, high rate of poverty, to mention but a few. Today is however a day of celebration, therefore allow me to on behalf of myself, my family, and the people of Omaheke region, extend our heartfelt congratulations to Ombara Eben Shodohongo. The designation of Ombara Eben Shodohongo, the second Guwawa, was witnessed by national and regional leaders of Oambanderu communities. Kariya Kabari, NBC News, Epukiro.